I'm your spirit guide. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I know, Halloween's over. <laughs> Seriously, I am your spirit guide, and today we're going to make a cognac and rye classic. What kind of name is that, Boucaré? Well, the name is French, and it means Old Square or Old Quarter, which was the original name for New Orleans French Quarter. So to understand how the Boucaré cocktail came to be, we've got to get into our way back time machine again. Okay, here we go. It was circa 1880 when Antonio Monflion immigrated from Sicily, Italy, leaving a successful shoe business behind. When he arrived in America, he opened a cobbler shop on Royal Street in the French Quarter, New Orleans. By 1886, being the entrepreneur he was, Antonio Montleon decided to buy a 64-room hotel called The Commercial, located on the corner of Royal and Iberville Streets. By 1903, 30 rooms were added to the hotel. And in 1908, he added 300 more rooms and changed the name from The Commercial Hotel to Hotel Montleon. After his death in 1913, the hotel was passed on to his son Frank. And in 1928, he added another 200 rooms. And this place is huge. <laughs> Since its beginning in 1886, five generations of Montfleons have owned and operated the hotel, and they still do today. It's a family affair. <laughs> Each generation has left their mark with expansions and renovations along the way. Like all great hotels, a lot of distinguished authors made 214 Royal Street their address while in the Big Easy. Authors like Ernest Hemingway, Tennessee Williams, William Faulkner, and so many more would often use the hotel as a backdrop to their stories. Anne Rice, Stephen Ambrose, uh, John Grissom, F. Scott Fitzgerald, uh, Richard Ford, Winston Groom, Rebecca Wells, Adora Welty, and Sherwood Anderson. Even Truman Capote used to boast that he was born in the Montreal. He wasn't, though. His mother lived at the hotel during her pregnancy. She made it to the hospital in time uh, to give birth to Truman. Ghosts abound in the hotel, too. There's a restaurant door that opens every night and then closes again, even when it's locked. They've got an elevator there that sometimes stops on the wrong floor, leading curious people down a chilly hallway to reveal ghostly images of children playing. Back in 2003, the International Society of Paranormal Research spent several days at Hotel Montleon. While they were there, they made contact with more than a dozen earthbound entities. Some of the ghosts were former employees of the hotel. I mean, could you imagine? You're a working bar your whole life at Hotel Montleon, <laughs> then you die, <laughs> and then you go back and you're, you're still working bar. Oh! <laughs> Fraternity. Oh my God, there's a, there's a personal hell. <laughs> there was a man named William Red Wildemere who died inside the hotel. He's always hanging about. And a friendly young boy named Maurice Begier. He too died in the hotel. His distraught parents, Josephine and Jacques, would return frequently in hopes he might visit them. Well, Maurice eventually did appear to his mother to comfort her. And to this day, guests report seeing him near the room where he died. While the exact year as to when the Boucaré cocktail was created is contested, it was mixed for the first time in the 1930s. A lot of sources claim the drink was invented in 1938. Even Hotel Montleon maintains it was created in 1938. However, the recipe appears in a cocktail book from 1937, Famous New Orleans Drinks and How to Mix Them, by Stanley Clisby Arthur. So I'm guessing it was invented sometime previous its publication. It just kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Regardless, the Vucare stands as a signature cocktail of Hotel Montleon. During the height of the Great Depression, it was head bartender Walter Bergeron that invented the Vucare at the Swan Bar, which was the original bar at the hotel and a nightclub where famed musicians such as Louis Prima and Liberace performed. Made up of Benedictine, vermouth, rye whiskey, brandy, and bitters, Walter Bergeron realized that his creation was a wonderful option for his guests who loved both brandy and whiskey. They didn't have to sacrifice either. He took special pride in mixing up his creation and said, it was to do honor to the famed Vucare. 
that part of New Orleans where the antique shops and iron lace balconies give sightseers a glimpse into the romance of another day. That's right out of the book. Now, this is really, really cool. In 1949, renovations to the bar were made and they changed the name from the Swan Bar to the Carousel Bar when they installed a spinning bar to create the likeness of a whimsical carousel. I don't know about you, but uh, <laughs> is the room spinning or am I just really, really snookered? Oh! <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> It's adorned with dazzling lights, clown carvings, and paintings of circus animals, and it's the only carousel you have to be 21 to ride. <laughs> you gotta be this tall. <laughs> you gotta be 21. <laughs> but you know, while a spinning bar doesn't seem to, like the best idea, the hotel has perfected the tempo of the spin. It moves nice and slow, about one full rotation every 15 minutes. But you know, I think it would be really cool if it went up and down too. <laughs> Where's my drink? Oh my God, it's way over here. <laughs> ah, shit. Okay, moving on. Let's get back to the Vucare cocktail. It's a strong drink, but the result is a balanced, complex, potent cocktail that is dangerously easy to drink. <laughs> Let's make one. Now the recipe out of the book, the 1937 book there, it's fine and all, but um, I'd like to beef it up a bit because, uh, well for starters, they only use uh, one dash of bitters. <laughs> I like my bitters. And that one third jigger of, of our spirits typically would translate back then about a half an ounce. So yeah, I'm gonna bump it up. <laughs> okay. What we've got going on here, we've got some Italian uh, sweet vermouth. We've got uh, two French products here, the Benedictine and the Hennessy. And if you're gonna make a cocktail uh, like the Vucare, use Hennessy, use something quality wise. And rye whiskey. Uh, I'm using uh, Canadian whiskey, uh, Lot 40, 100% rye. A lot of times they'll use uh, an American whiskey like Bullet Bourbon, but you know, I like my Canadian whiskey. Now it was Simon, one of my uh, patrons on Patreon, that requested I make the Vucare cocktail. Thanks for the suggestion, Simon. Okay, I've got a little coupe glass here chilling with some ice water. I'm gonna set it off to the side and replace it with our mixing glass. Ooh, I get to open up a brand new bottle of Hennessy. It's a VS, a little pricey, but uh, definitely worth it. Oh yeah. And we want, uh, Three quarters of an ounce. Followed by, uh, well, our lot 40. I'm gonna give this a shot here just because I do like my whiskeys. Oh, there's a real uh, butterscotch uh, tone going on with that. It's nice. It's pretty smooth too. Mm hmm. Okay, three quarters of an ounce. Sweet vermouth, Italian sweet vermouth, three quarters of an ounce. Benedictine. We want uh, two bar spoons. So what we've got going on so far is we've got uh, some Benedictine, very, very sweet, very herbal. Uh, sweet vermouth, obviously sweet, and, and two very dry um, spirits. And they kind of counteract each other, right? Take some of that sweetness out. So depending on your taste buds, you can bump up your spirits. You know, it's a preference thing. It really, really is. Next, we've got some Angostura bitters. Yeah, two dashes. And Peugeot bitters. <laughs> I haven't got very much left because they're really, really good. Actually, um, a very good friend of mine brought these back uh, with her uh, from New Orleans. Thanks, Denise. Two dashes. And that's it. Add some ice to our mixing glass. And give it a good stir. 
to dilute this mix. Oh yeah. That's a really nice feel on the stir. I like it. Okay, get rid of this ice water that's been chilling. And we're just gonna strain it out. Oh, look at the color. Isn't that gold? That's beautiful. This is gorgeous. Nice. And I've got a little piece of uh, lemon rind here, and I'm just gonna scour the lip, express the oils, and drop her in. All right, let's try this thing. You know, I'm, I'm a Manhattan drinker, and uh, I've had these before, and they're absolutely delightful. You get a little bit of a, the lemon going on, of course. It's a little sweet on the, uh, on the sweet end, but that's okay because I like a little bit of sweet every once in a while. But again, you could bump up your rye, you could bump up your uh, Hennessy to make a drier uh, Vucare, but it is absolutely delightful. It's clean, it's refreshing. Well, refreshing as a stiff drink goes. That's beautiful. Okay, let's do it another way on the rocks. You'll often find it served on the rocks. It's probably more uh, frequent than you will uh, straight up. But either way, it's absolutely delicious. So let's do that. Let's, uh... <laughs> let's put it on the rocks. All right, I'm not making another one. Uh, one is all you need, yeah. Look at that baby. Oh, and I think I'd like to garnish with a cherry. Yeah. Baby. That's beautiful. That is really, really nice. Whether you try making the original recipe or experimenting on your own with uh, various combination amounts of spirit and liqueur, you can't go wrong. It's delightful. It's all a preference thing. Just to play with it, have some fun. It'll be a taste experience like you've never had before. You have to, uh, you have to like your whiskey. You have to like your, your cognac to enjoy these. And again, if you want to make it drier, just add more spirit. Cheers. A lot of times they'll use uh, an American whiskey like Bullet Bur. Bur Partial funding for Bar Talk and Cocktails is provided by Patreon. For just a few dollars a month, you get access to lots of extra stuff. Behind the scenes videos, podcasts, newsletters, some of my own personally created cocktails, and much, much more. Become one of my patrons today and help keep us going. Thanks in advance. Cheers. You know, you gotta get on that carousel, <laughs> that carousel of life, and, and make yourself a Vucare cocktail because they are absolutely wonderfully potent, wonderfully smooth, wonderfully delicious. <laughs> Hit the subscribe button, check some other videos out, and uh, make one, try one. I mean, if you don't like it, put it in the mailbox, send it to me. <laughs>